Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, congratulating the Assyrian community on Hab Nisan. The regular sitting of the government of Western Armenia took place. Today is the 28th anniversary of liberation of Karvajar. Multi-apartment buildings to be built in two districts of Stepanakert. Armenia is making history on the road to the 2022 World Cup, FIFA. Remains of Bronze Age found in Shernak, Western Armenia. Edward Mirzoyan Republican competition to take place in Yerevan. Garo Kebabjan's family is asking to transfer the money for flowers to the account of the Homeland Defender Rehabilitation Center. The President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, sent a message to Assyrian community congratulating them on Hab Nisan. The press service of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia informs, I warmly congratulate our Assyrian brothers and sisters of Western Armenia and all over the world on the occasion of the new year, Hab Nisan. May this holiday of nature revival, love and fertility become the beginning of a new and happy year. May the new year bring prosperity and wealth to your families. Our peoples have often faced trials during the millennia, have seen the tragedy of genocide in the same period of history. I'm sure that the centuries-old friendship of indigenous Armenian and Assyrian peoples of the region will continue and will be strengthened. Happy Hab Nisan, the message of the President mentions. The regular sitting of the government of Western Armenia took place on March 31. The Prime Minister Seda Melikian led the sitting with the participation of the President of the Republic, Armenak Abrahamian. Before starting the sitting, the participants honored the memory of Arkadi Tertadevosyan, Komandos and Karo Kebabjan with a moment of silence. The agenda of the sitting included eight issues, four of which were not reported and one was secret. Issues referring to diplomatic measures and their work were also discussed. The Armenian troops launched the operation to liberate Karvajar on March 27, 1993. Freedom fighters Armenak Abrahamian, Hosep Hovsepian, Volodya Avedisyan, Sarkis Karapetyan, Misha Tadevosyan, Joseph Nersesyan, Vigen Abrahamian liberated Karvajar on the 1st of April. On April 2nd, Armenian forces moved forward and three days later were positioned at the Omar Mountain Pass. The operations in Karvajar started on the night of March 31 at around 12 a.m. On April 1st, the Armenian troops were already in the center of Karvajar. They occupied two positions, the first at 7 a.m. in the morning and the second at around 10.30 a.m. The liberation of Karvajar was very important for the security of the northern and northeastern borders of Armenia and Artsakh. Karvajar was an important strategic point for the Armenian side as a result of the liberation of which a stable connection was established between Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh. The front line was significantly reduced, securing the rear of the Martagert region. The Turkish Azerbaijani forces have occupied this part of western Armenia since November 9, 2020. Karvajar, our debt of honor by Levon Minasyan was published in 2013. About 40 buildings in Stepanakert were completely destroyed as a result of the war. The letters are in need of capital reconstruction. The first deputy mayor of Stepanakert, Samvel Gulian, informed the Armen press. Currently, renovation works are underway in various facilities in Stepanakert. In particular, the building of the school number 10 of Shell Stepanakert is being renovated. Replacement of damaged doors, windows and roofs is underway, Julian mentioned. According to the deputy mayor, the construction of a new section of the Federal Cemetery of the City Memorial is the biggest and most responsible project. Touching upon the problem of lack of Stepanakert housing fund, the deputy mayor mentioned that the housing problem was significant even before the war. At the moment, measurement and design works are underway for the construction of apartment buildings in two suburban districts of Stepanakert. Thus, it will ensure the balanced development of the capital, the issue of providing infrastructure. In the match of the third round of the 2022 World Cup qualifying round, the Armenian national team hosted Romania and won with a score of 3-2. FIFA also referred to the success of the Armenian national team. As reported by Armsport, FIFA tweeted the following on the 2022 World Cup official Twitter page. 8 games unbeaten, 4 straight wins, their best ever run. 4 games without defeat in World Cup qualifiers for the first time. Armenia is making history on the road to the 2022 World Cup. Rocks carved with human and animal images have been found in Shernak province, western Armenia. Experts studying the area suggest that the images belong to the Bronze Age. The rocks are located close to the historic Silk Road. Images of a human, a horse and a camel attracted attention of archaeologists. Carved rocks are noticed for the first time in the region. Archaeologists have started working in order to recognize the region as a first-class protected area. The engravings have been registered. 
The region and the area close to the Silk Road are planned to be taken under protection. The annual Republican competition of young composers named after USSR people's artist Edvard Mirzoyan will take place on May 10 to 13 on the initiative of Composers Union of Armenia. As Armen Press reports, in 2021, as in previous years, Armenian creators under the age of 18 will be able to participate in the Mirzoyan contest in two age groups. All participants will be awarded with participation certificates, gifts, and will get the opportunity to be recorded in the acoustic laboratory of Gomita State Conservatory. Conservatory of Yerevan. Monetary rewards are planned for the winners of the two groups as well as for their teachers. Applications should be sent to the Facebook page of the contest by May 10. The project is implemented with the support of the RA Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports in partnership with the Yerevan State Conservatory. The family of Garo Kebabjan, Artsakh's permanent representative in the countries of the Middle East, reports that Garo Kebabjan will be buried tomorrow on April 2nd at 2 p.m. in the Yerablur military pantheon. Due to the aggravation of the coronavirus epidemic, there will be no official funeral service today, and the family is asking to transfer the money for flowers and wreaths for Garo Kebabjan to the account of the Homeland Defender Rehabilitation Center. You can find the letter on our website. The Kebabjan family is thankful for sharing the pain of the heavy loss. Let us remind that Garo Kebabjan, the permanent representative of Artsakh to the Middle East, died yesterday on March 31. Now I present you of Zarman Ali Chen by Varujan Markaryan. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.